Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am Major Josh Heimroth, and on behalf of the Adjutant General, welcome to the Division of Military and Naval Affairs Memorial Day Ceremony. Due to the social distancing requirements and restrictions for large gatherings, this ceremony is being videoed and will be shared later this evening on the Division of Military and Naval Affairs website and streamed on the New York Army National Guard's Facebook page. We begin by supporting the National Moment of Remembrance, encouraging all in attendance to now pause for a minute of silence. This is to honor all those service members who have made the ultimate sacrifice in service to their country. Our national anthem will now be sung by Sergeant First Class Brooke Albert, followed by the invocation that will be delivered by Chaplain Scott Eller. As an outdoor ceremony, military personnel in uniform will render honors. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch was a gallantly streaming on the rocky Most gracious and heavenly Father, we pause here this afternoon during this time of national crisis to remember that since the birth of this great nation, men and women have taken up the arms in defense of the foundation of this country, that we are all created equal, that we are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights that include life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And in defense of those rights, many have died protecting them. And for that, we are here today to pay our most profound and humble respect. And as we gather and hear the names of those who have passed away in service to our great nation, we grieve our loss and their sacrifice, and we pray your blessing on all of those that feel this pr profound loss. We can never honor them enough, and we ask your blessing on this memorial ceremony and pray that we can do honor to their legacy. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Adjutant General of New York, Major General Ray Shields. So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our annual Memorial Day ceremony at the Division of Military and Naval Affairs, the headquarters for the New York Army, Air National Guard, the Naval Militia, and the New York Guard. This is definitely an unusual Memorial Day, one that we will not soon forget. Normally, our annual remembrance of our men and women who gave their lives for our nation is an all hands a deck affair. Today, May 22nd, 2020, there are only a handful of us here to pay tribute to our fallen service members. The coronavirus crisis and the requirements for social distancing and small gatherings means today's remembrance is by video only. We cannot have our usual large crowd in attendance to pay their respect to our fallen service members. Most will have to watch on their computer or smartphone later. However, we cannot forget what Memorial Day stands for. Since 1868, the United States has honored its fallen military service members, first known as Decoration Day and now as Memorial Day. It is a chance for us to spend a moment to remember those who lost their lives in military service to our nation. 
Therefore, it is fitting that we conduct a ceremony with, with leaders to mark Memorial Day on behalf of our entire New York National Guard and our state's military forces. And this year will certainly be an unusual Memorial Day weekend. There will be no parades except for maybe a couple vehicle parades. There'll be no gatherings at cemeteries. There'll be no big picnics, concerts, and amusement parks and campgrounds statewide remain closed. Much of what we associate with Memorial Day weekend will not happen. However, what does continue is our sense of duty and mission accomplishment. This Memorial Day weekend, we still have over 3,500 men and women on duty helping our fellow New Yorkers deal with the COVID pandemic across our state. Even with the COVID-19 crisis, we felt it incredibly important to mark this holiday and remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice while serving for our state and nation. Members of the New York Guard, the New York National Guard are no strangers to the ultimate sacrifice. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II and many members of the New York National Guard made the ultimate sacrifice in that great war. 75 years ago, soldiers of the 27th Division were getting ready to attack the island of Okinawa. They would fight for that island for almost two weeks. In Europe, soldiers of the 258 Field Artillery and the 101st Cavalry were settling in to occupy Germany after battling their way across Europe. As the war was closing, the 101st Cavalry had the honor of capturing the Japanese ambassador to Germany, as well as German Field Marshal Albert Kesselring. This year, thankfully, we have no new battle casualties to honor, although we do remember the seven members of our New York Air National Guard and 32 members of the New York Army National Guard who have given their lives in combat since September 11, 2001. We will also remember six members of our forces who have passed away since last Memorial Day. They all left our ranks too early. I encourage everyone to take a minute and remember those who have died in service to our nation on Monday. Perhaps in an odd way, with everything closed on Monday, it will give us more time to reflect on the sacrifices made by so many to defend our country. I wish everyone a safe and enjoyable Memorial Day weekend. Stay safe and healthy, and thank you for our service to our state and nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now honor our fallen by reading the names of our active serving members of the New York Military Forces who have died since the last Memorial Day ceremony, none of which were combat related, but in honor of their service and sacrifice are being memorialized this afternoon. We will then follow with the benediction, laying of the memorial wreath, and playing of taps. Please render honors during taps played by Specialist Taylor Cross. Senior Airman, Ala V. Ashiva, assigned to the 109th Airlift Wing, New York Air National Guard, hometown, Brooklyn, New York. Specialist Israel Benitez, assigned to the 1156 Engineer Company, New York Army National Guard, hometown, Newburgh, New York. Senior Airman Julian T. Burgess, assigned to the 174th Attack Wing, New York Air National Guard, hometown, Rochester, New York. Staff Sergeant George A. Gertler, assigned to the 109th Airlift Wing, New York Air National Guard, hometown Scotia, New York. Private First Class Eugene S. Porterfield, assigned to Bravo Battery, 1st the 258th Field Artillery Battalion, New York Army National Guard, hometown Flushing, New York. Private First Class Benjamin C. Snyder, assigned to the 827th Engineer Company, New York Army National Guard, hometown Horseheads, New York. Heavenly Father, as we depart from this place with the names of those who in service to this great state and nation engraved on our hearts, may we never forget them. May we leave this place blessed in your presence and wrapped in your safety. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the Adjutant General, thank you for attending.